Hello, welcome to Cloud Education. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some um, a program called Scratch for Arduino, and this is a great program. It allows a Arduino board to interact with a um, well, with interact with uh, with Scratch. You can make lights move, motors move, um, or you can connect. You can make your switches, and what press what you press, sensors interact with Scratch. So it works it works both ways. So you need your Arduino board connected, which I have done, and I'm going to click on Arduino, double click, and the first thing we need to do, really important, you need to send um, firmware, a little program to your Arduino board. This just tells the Arduino to interact with Scratch for Arduino. So you're going to open it up, click on Scratch for Arduino firmware, open it up, and just upload the program. Just a little sketch program. It'll be overwritten. Just a little, um, little, um, little program. Compiling the sketch and it's uploaded. Green lights flashing. It got there. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that, and we can now start Scratch for Arduino, <coughs> which is S for A, Scratch for Arduino. So the first thing it does is it searches for the board, um, and hopefully you find it in a few seconds. and it's found the board. Nice picture as well. Um, so it's basically another character, another, another, another sprite. And you can write, you can treat it as any other sprites on the board, any other character on the board, but the advantage is in the motion section we've got all these variables here. So value of sensors, that's pressed, they do that on, digital turn off, motors clockwise, um, these things that are really useful to make the actual interact with the sprite. Um, I'm going to maximize this now so you can um, see what's going on. So, what I've done this morning is I've, um, I've attached a potentiometer to my sprite. So a potentiometer is just a way of um, controlling the signal that I receive like a sensor and it just can go up and go down like a little dial. So I've connected the ground to the left hand of my potentiometer, the 5 volts to the right hand side, and in the middle I've connected a lead to, just quick check, analog 5. So analog 5 is currently reading 216, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, if I turn my analog, f my potentiometer one way, you'll see analog 5 is now on zero. There's no current flowing through. And if I slowly turn analog 5 up, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It goes up to, I'll do halfway, which is just doing maths in my head, should be 512. That's halfway, about, and then up all the way to 1023. Again, if you remember your maths, um, your binary, that's uh, just computer bytes uh, and the power of 2. I don't know, I can't remember how much 2 it is. Okay, so the beauty of this is we can use the analog 5 value as a, um, as a variable. We can use that variable value as a number, and that number can then be used to interact with, uh, with Scratch. So, today we're going to make our, um, our Scratch character move around the board and get bigger or smaller depending on the on the values coming in. So first of all we need to set a variable, make a variable, and we're going to press variable, make a variable, we're going to call it pot. That's just a pot value. And you see it comes up on the board there. It's currently set to zero because we haven't told it what it actually what it actually is. So we need to do some control. So control when we start my program we're going to uh, we're going to set potentiometer to the value of motion to the value of sensor. Now it's really important. Analog zero. We're doing analog five, so we'll change that to analog five. So if I press the green button now, you'll notice analog five now changed. But if I turn 
analog fire down, the potentiometer hasn't value variable hasn't altered. The reason for that is is because the program just follows the instructions. When it's clicked, set that value to that. We haven't told it to keep on checking the value. So we're going to go down, we're going to put a control um, block in, and we're going to do it forever. So there we go, there we're linked in now. Forever. So essentially when that's flicked it will forever keep checking that and altering the value. So I'm going to go to there, make that to green, we've got 594, if I go down a bit, ah, brilliant. So we've now got a variable that we are just moving the switch round and it's increasing and decreasing. So you can do that with any kind of sensor, a light sensor, if you put your hand over it, that will go down, put your hand above it, it will go up. Temperature sensor, I suppose, a noise sensor, anything you want to, really. Okay, we've pressed stop there for the moment. Okay, so now we're going to go into, we're going to import a new, um, oh, as well, I don't really want that sprite there. So when it's clicked, I'm just going to go to um, looks, I'm going to just hide my board there. Okay didn't really want that there. We'll keep that going there. We can, get, we can delete that if you want to, but actually we will delete that off the board because it's just, um, we'll just hide it off there. So make that click, it's going to hide. So we're going to go to here now, we're going to import a new sprite. And we're going to go for our animals. And I think we'll go for, oh, we'll use our, we'll use our scratch character. Use anyone you want to, but we'll just use our, um, our cat, because we like our cat, don't we? Here we go. We'll do cat B today. Okay, I'm going to just click on the Arduino. I'm going to hide the Arduino. I'm going to hide it, the Arduino. Um, not going to delete it, I'm going to hide it. If I delete it, it's just bad, so I'm going to put it there and make it just resize it. So it's just out of the way. There we go. I could hide it if I wanted to by running the program. If that, I will actually, I'll just run the program and it's hidden. Stop the program. It's hidden now. It's still there, just hidden. Okay, and I think our cat needs a background today. So I'm going to go to our stage. I'm going to import a background. And today I think we will give the cat an outdoors place to go to. Um, and I think we will just go to the school. Why not? So the cat's going to the school. Um, Fantastic. I just wonder if there's any music or anything like that in the background. We could do that, but that's not the focus of of today's um, exercise. Go to there. Let's go. I'm going to go to a scripts. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to get the cat to move. We'll do the cat moving, moving forwards and backwards today. So again, we need some more variables. So I'm going to make a new variable, and that will just be. I had this before. We'll do forward. We'll do forward, we'll do, actually yeah, we'll do, we will do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do move. Again for all these sprites here. So we're going to there, and we will introduce our control, and we will do, we'll do it when the, oh, we'll do it when that goes, goes clicked. And we are going to introduce, now the problem is with the, uh, with this is that we were talking a thousand and twenty-four, and that's a bit of a pain with the uh, steps. So we're going to change that into a percentage. I'm going to make a new variable, and that's going to be we're going to move percent. Okay, so move percent. So I'm going to put those three over there, just so. So essentially, what we're going to do now is we're going to make our values and move percent into a number and to do that we just need to do a bit of maths so operators and we're going to do uh, where are we going to go to variables so we're going to set move to and move is going to be our other variable which is 
part going to operator we're going to divide that by 1024 so that will just make it if it was if a potentiometer was 1024 and I'm just be oh, again we have to do it forever because it has to go on forever okay so that's going to divide the potentiometer value by 1024 that will give us a decimal number um, to that so I just click on this and hopefully there you go it's 0 0.5 roughly half and then if we just make it down a bit that goes down to there and it goes up to 1 and then I'm sure that lots of you will now remember I want to change I want to get this as a, frac as a percentage so again I'm going to just put my um, variables in I'm going to set move percent and all I'm going to do is is just it's going to be move times 100 so now when it's clicked it's going to work out the move variable and then times it by 100 it moves. I could have probably done that in one go but it's just nice maths um, like that and you'll see that's going up to 95.8 um, I haven't stopped the script it goes down so now that's really helpful now because we've now got a variable we can get we can do anything with a variable with the uh, with the uh, with the um, with the sprite so we're going to control again and we're going to go to that when it's clicked so we've got lots of things going on at the moment and we're going to go to oh we'll do looks and we will change we'll make it a bit bigger so we'll set the size to of the cat and we'll keep the cat as that and we'll just make the variable to um, move percent so stop that run that now oh and the cat suddenly shrunk make it I've done it again it has to be a forever there we go a forever really important when you're doing these forever let's make it a bit bigger do it like that 3% so if I just shrink the cat down oh the cat's vanishing oh no which is really sad but hey the cat goes 100% that's pretty good so we've got a nice little movement of our cat and we're going to stop the script like that and then we're going to make a new one and we're going to make it move as well but this time let's just see I haven't done this before this would be quite exciting we to do a um, we'll do a um, we'll do a control again and we'll just do a may as well when that's clicked and we'll do a motion oh, we'll do it forever uh, we'll do it forever yeah here we go forever and it can just um, motion so we'll just change X can we do a percentage uh, change X by da 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 hmm. change X by we'll put a variable in I have no idea if this will work or not change X by that many that many steps so it will go that way and then if it goes down a bit I have no idea so let's just see what's going to happen shall we I think it might go up the screen oh. yes it did so to bring it back we'll just uh, 
Uh, here we go. We'll just times it by minus one, and that will just bring us back a. Um, Minus one. Oh, let's come back again. Okay, I'll uh, just set that to there. I think that's playing around with it, so I'll just bring my cat back to the middle again. Okay, that's something you can play around with. Um, we can do a variable in for steps and play around with that. But what the main focus is today is just looking. You've now got a variable which is here, and that variable can go, can get our cat to do stuff and can change around there. So working with your maths and your variable number you can get that cat, that sprite, to do stuff. Okay, well thank you for listening to Cloud Education. I hope that's taught you, um, hope it helped you a bit and we'll speak to you later.